Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to discuss about node selector. So in the previous video we discussed about 10 10 tolerance. Now it is a similar concept about the node selector but slightly different. So let's take an example you have a, a two kind of application one application require a high CPU and one application require a high memory and you have a two node one node have a high CPU configuration and second node have a high memory configuration and, and you want whenever you deploy a high CPU application it will always go to the node 1 and whenever you deploy a high memory configuration application it will always go to node 2 if you fulfill this type of requirement you can use a node selector so let's discuss what is node selector so node selector is a powerful feature in a Kubernetes that allow you to schedule your pod on a specific node in your cluster based on the node label so here again the label should apply on a node side unlike the tolerance pod without matching a node selector can still be scheduled on the label node so in the previous video we see if you not define a tolerance in a pod section the pod will goes on the pending state but here pod will be create so let's jump to the demo section so i have a same aks demo cluster and i have a two node agent pool and node 2 agent pool and node 2 and right now i have so there is no label applied on any of this node so the labels are there but i am going to apply my custom label so the label name is label high cpu and high memory so let's quickly do it so node selector demo and here i am going to apply open the terminal so kubectl get node venture b and let me select the agent pool so here i will give a label called high cpu and in a node 2 i will give a label high memory okay so now the label is applied what happened okay let's give a some let me remove if any label is applied. okay so i think the no to label is already applied let's quickly check yeah so here the capacity high memory label is already applied while creating the node so let me give some other name capacity one equal to high memory okay now so we have uh, defined the label so my agent pool have a label high memory and a node 2 have a high memory so let's quickly create the pod create a resources and here here the property is node selector and the my key is capacity and high cpu so high cpu means agent pod agent node so let's quickly create and here you can see it goes to the agent pool and if if i want my pod should create on a node 2 having a high memory so just give the key capacity 1 and give the value So it goes to the node 2. But here, unlike the tolerance, if you not define this node selector, still the pod will create and it will take a random node. So here you can see it goes to the node 2. 
So this is all about the node selector. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.